somebody that y'all are going to get to know if you don't know already. His name is Donnie. All right. Big Donald. Dangerous, um, dangerous Donald is what they used to call him. He's my big brother. At least I call him my big brother. He's actually my cousin, but he always treated me like a brother. And his mom, um, his mom adopted me when I was three years old. And he raised me like, you know, I was his little brother. He also raised me like he was a father. You know, he he provided those those um that advice and that strength and that and the 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 morals and and all those things like a like a father man and today he turns 50 years old so you know happy birthday to you big dog i appreciate you man i love you um you've been an amazing dude to your own family uh for your own family for yourself done some awesome things in your life achieved a lot and um and you looked out for me and I'm and and I appreciate that. There were some times where we couldn't afford to um celebrate certain holidays and birthdays and all that other stuff, but he would definitely go out his way to make sure that um that he still got me something so that I can feel like, you know, I won't feel left out. But uh he was a pain in the ass too. My big brother was a serious, serious pain in the ass. I'm talking about he was he was he was like a neighborhood bully, um, but he taught me a lot. He used to have me and my brothers, me and my other brothers, um, Leonard and Wayne, and my cousin Nucci. Shout out to um, all of them. Um, man, we we used to go to war early in the morning. He'll wake us up early in the morning, like time to train. It'd be like five o'clock in the morning, and he'd be like, "Time to train, time to train." So I'm 44. He's just now turning 50 today. So there's that, you know, that age difference. But he was always a lot more stocky. He wanted to be. He actually used to train himself because he wanted to fight Mike Tyson. That's what he used to always say. And he, he was a, um, a running back for our high school as well. But he used to wake us up in the morning, time to train. And all of us knew what that meant. We had to do push-ups. Uh, we had to do sit-ups. Uh, we had to do pull-ups. We had to box each other with gloves. Five o'clock in the morning, five, six o'clock. Sometimes we didn't go to sleep until we did it, um, like always. He was just making sure that he was trying to raise up some uh, some some soldiers, man. So I'm still skinny because I never depended on muscle to take care of my business. That's why. Um, I'm a small guy. And I always been small. Um, and my brother, that's this one thing in my head, man. I, I'm so skinny because sometimes I can go hard in the gym for a long time and I will start cutting up immediately. Like my body will respond immediately. I'm going to show you. I'm about to go on a journey with that again because I was in the gym for a minute. But my, my big brother, one thing that he did was he tried to put it in my head that uh, you you better not ever be soft, you know what I mean? So, and growing up where we grew up, that was necessary. It was extremely necessary. So, um, you know what I mean? Um, I never depended on my size, and I believe that if I was bigger, I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be alive right now because it was some people that I second guessed going at, and that's only because I wasn't bigger and they was real big. But it was some people I second guessed going at. But for the most part. I I had absolutely no fear, man. My brothers and I, we grew up that way. That's just how we was, man. Um, and one thing he used to also do, and this is probably not the best thing, because training, us waking up and doing push-ups and ex exercising and those type of things, always had a six-pack. I always used to do um, flips and all those things. But we used to fight a lot on the streets. Um, so... If we see somebody walking down our neighborhood who um, who we didn't know, and they had to be bigger than us. They had to be bigger than us. Um, sometimes we would get told to go hit that guy. And if we didn't hit them, then we had to fight my big brother. So, listen, everything we did was not right. And we've come a long way. Um, but so many things happen from from how I was raised um, that when Facebook first first started, one of my very first posts that I put 
on um, Facebook was I was apologizing um, to people I went to school with for me being me, me being a jerk, me being um, a, a a hole. You know what I mean? Because um, I wasn't no bully. I like to think of myself as a bully because you know it was sometimes it was it it worked out to be a bully, but um, there's there was some time I got my ass whooped like on the streets before one time one time I got I got beat up by um, a friend of mine um, down in on the main road Livingston Road and uh, his name was Jesse um, rest in power to Jesse and um, and my sister made me go back down there and fight him again she said nope you going to, you going down there you're not going to be losing to nobody and you're not going to be crying either so you're going back down there and um and that was the only time she made me fight anybody but other than that it was my brother and um that's just how it was growing up there but he he added some heart like that heart that he gave me I will always have and I'm appreciative even though when I was going through it I used to I used to hate it I used to I used to beg my guardian not to go to work Beg, I'm talking about beg. My guardian will have to work late at night in the hospitals, cleaning up the hospitals. And she, I mean, overnight she's there cleaning up hospitals. And I used to beg her not to go, man. We we gonna have to we gonna have to do some training. I used to be a little snitch. I used to snitch like on a what? And he used to, man. He made me pay for it. I'd be like, he gonna make me train. He gonna punch me. He gonna make me do push ups. He gonna make us fight. And she used to be like, man, shut up. Stop crying. <laughs> Stop crying like an old punk. And then she'd go to work and it'd be even worse because I was snitching. And uh, but he made us tough, man. And this was the days of WWF um where um Jimmy Superfly Snooker, Machi, um, Macho Randy Man, um, Randy Savage, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, um, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, Mr. T was um was all wrestling back then and man we used to be forced to wrestle and i thought i was claustrophobic because me being so small i used to hate somebody laying down on my chest for three counts i used to dag on wig out like get off me get off me and think i'm i'm hyperventilating i'm like really thinking that i'm about to die bruh i was thinking i was about to die like get off me man i'm this is crazy and um, but that three count of having somebody bigger on my chest, and I'm like, dude, then that just made me want to fight more and more. So one thing I used to do is anybody, anybody who know me, who grew up with me, um, who are closer to me, like my friends, friends, um, they know that I didn't wait for anybody. I used to be the first one to pop off. I don't care how many of y'all it is. I don't care how big you are. I was the very first one to pop off because most people, one thing I learned was I don't care how big a person is, they hate to be punched in the mouth. People don't like to be punched in the mouth and they don't like to be punched in the eye. So if I can, I teach my kids that all the time too, man. Listen, watch your surroundings, read the room, and if you can get out of that, get out of it. But if you can't, make sure you are the first to pop off. That's it. You you be the first. And um, and then you just get up out of there. But but shout out to my brother, Donnie. Big Donnie, man. I appreciate you. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy 50th. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. All right. That was my story for the day. Love y'all.